Hello friends, today we discuss about cluster and its operations. So in live view, cluster is a group data elements of mixed type. Like we have a error cluster in our lab view and this error cluster is a combination of status, code and source. Basically code is in form of numeric, source is in form of string and status is in form of boolean. So cluster is a group data elements of mixed type. So in this video, we will discuss how to create a, a cluster and how to unbundle this cluster or how to change the value of a given cluster using program. Okay. So first I just create a cluster over here. So this is the notation in the data container. I have a blank cluster and over here I just put a numeric control. Again, let's say this is my another numeric and the, these functions in the cluster over here. This is at zero position. This is at one position and let's say this is my string. This is my second position. The order of these is according to the placing. So right now I'm just putting a boolean also over here. So this cluster will contain two numeric, one string and one boolean. And numeric is of floating type. So I just reorder. Auto sizing is based on vertically arranged. So as you see. This is my input cluster and I want to just copy this and this is my output cluster and I want to change it to indicator as you see over here this is my output cluster so I just naming it output input cluster okay. So I just put value, let's say seven, seven and over here, left view from text Z. Okay. And the boolean value is on. So when I hit on run button, as you see, nothing is there because you have to connect these clusters. So as you see right now the connection is done and when I hit on run button 77 text set and over here boolean is on and I want to change the value of this numeric. So for that purpose I just go to the cluster operations and over here this is my bundle and I want to just connect this. So when I connect this over here, this is my DBL, DBL numeric numeric ABC for string and this is my TF for boolean and if you use this function in the name of this bundle, you, you can use also this function. So when I connect this as you see and you have to just drag over here, first one is numeric, second numeric to string. It is bundle by name. This is only bundle. You can use according to your preference. Okay. So right now I want to change this numeric value. I just create a control over here and over here I got the output cluster. So I want to just delete this. I am using bundle by name. Okay. So this is my output cluster. As you see and over here, this is my numeric value and I am going to change this 7 to let's say 12. So when I hit on run button, so over here, I just check the error. Bundle by name contains unwired 
or bad terminal as you see over here. So I just copy this, uh, rearrange this. So right now when I hit on run button, as you see 7 is replaced by 12. Okay. So this is how you can use or how you can change the value in a cluster using this program. So let's say I want to change the value of numeric 2. So I just select numeric 2 over here. So right now when I hit on run button as you see 7 is as it is numeric 2 value is changed. Okay. So this is how you can change the value of a cluster. Thank you.